you really need to go to sleep. Oh, two more minutes, Twilight. I'm just getting to the really good part. The maniac is about to... The maniac? The Power Pony's most evil nemesis. She was the power mad owner of a hair care product company. A tragic accident at her shampoo factory in Meritropolis not only gave her main strange new powers, but also caused her to go completely insane. She and her hench ponies are planning to break into the Meritropolis Museum and steal the Electro Orb so she can use it to power up her doomsday device. Of course, the maniac wouldn't have even known if Humdrum hadn't slipped up and told her all about it. Humdrum? Nah, oh, the guy in the blue boots and pointless red cape. The Power Pony's bumbling and totally useless sidekick. The Power Ponies have to stop the maniac or Metropolis is tipped! Believe me, Spike, if any pony understands what it's like to get caught up in a really good book, it's me. But if we're gonna make any progress fixing up Luna and Celestia's old castle tomorrow, we all have to do our part. We don't want to be too tired to lend a hoof. Or claw. Okay, okay, I'm going to bed. Good night. Two more minutes. Yes! My little pony, my little pony. Adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Looking good, every pony. Let's keep this magical makeover moving. You got it. But old Spike is here, ready to do his part. A little more to the left. No, the other left. Awesome, that's perfect right where it is. On to the next painting. You sure you don't need any help? No, that's okay. We got everything under control. Dash? I'm good. <sighs> Isn't there anything I can help you with, Twilight? Don't worry about it, Spike. It's all good. I think she's right. It looks like we've got it, Spike. Looking great, every pony. Why don't you find a quiet spot and finish reading your comic? Weren't you right at the part where Humdrum was about to stop the villain? Humdrum never stops the villain. He's just there for comic relief. <laughs> Rarity, let me give you a hook with that. I could do it. That's okay, Spike. Pony powers! <sighs> Maniac breaks into the museum. Okay, here we go. Ah, what a surprise. Humdrum is in the way again while the power ponies do all the work. I guess I know what that feels like. <gasps> Wait. What? How can that be the end? What's that? You can retry. What? You can return? Ugh. I know I saw a magnifying glass lying around last time I was here. Spike! Where are you, Spike? We're breaking for tea and biscuits. Spike! You can return to the place you started when the maniac is defeated. Huh? Take a closer look to join the adventure in this book? What does that even mean?
Is this Mertropolis? Some pony want to tell me what the hay is going on? Holy new personas, ponies! You're the masked Matterhorn! Billy Second! Zap! Radiance! Mistress Marvelous! Saddle Rager! You're the Power Ponies! Power Ponies! <laughs> How kind of you to join us! Huh? <laughs> Did she just call us power ponies? You're the, the superheroes from my comic book! It somehow zapped us all in here! So some pony zap us back out! My comic book? It said the way to get back to where we started was to defeat the maniac! Your arch nemesis! Time for the main event! Pinky! Where'd she go? She could be miles away from here by now. Pinky is Philly Second, the fastest pony in all of Meritropolis. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight, freeze her mane! Do what? You're the masked Matterhorn. You can shoot all kinds of crazy power beams from your horn. You know, I'm beginning to enjoy this. <laughs> Quick, your zap! And your superpowers controlling the mighty forces of nature! Unholster the lightning bolt! Must be going. <laughs> Straight. We've been sucked into some kind of comic book world. Technically, it's called Metropolis, 
And if we want to get back to Ponyville, I think we have to stop the maniac from using her doomsday device to destroy it. No biggie. I was already awesome. And now we've all got superpowers. Almost all of us have superpowers. But you must have them too, Spiky Boo. Your character is wearing a cape. Yeah, for absolutely no reason. He's pretty much useless. Good thing you're not really humdrum, then. Yeah, good thing. So the six of us power ponies will take care of Maniac and get us back to Ponyville. Spike, where is the Maniac building her doomsday device? Her top secret headquarters. But you better get there quick. That glowing orb she just stole is what she's going to use to power it up. Lead the way, Spike. Then leave the rest to us. Hmm. <sighs> There it is. Is that a shampoo factory? All right, Power Ponies, here's the plan. Rarity, you mean. Come on out, Maniac! Or the Power Ponies are coming in! So much for element of surprise. Guess I'll just hang back here doing nothing. Oh, I don't think she's home. Maybe we should just come back later. <laughs> She's home. Time to power pony up. Ooh, nice catchphrase. Freeze ray. It's an improvement, darling. Of a functional accessory. <laughs> My hair! Seriously, you aren't even just a little angry right now? Nice work, Power Ponies. Now let's take care of the maniac and get ourselves home. I don't think so. I have a city to destroy, and I'm not about to let the Power Ponies stop me. Not this time! Just watch us! The hairspray ray of doom! It stops you in your tracks and renders your powers useless! We'll just see about that! when I use the hairspray ray of doom on you. Rather pointless, don't you think? What am I supposed to do? I'm useless. No wonder my friends never need me to do anything important. They're the ones with superpowers. They've probably already figured out how to escape. Or not. Will amplify the power of my main 
one million times, expelling an energy blast that will cause every pony in Metropolis's mane to grow wild. <laughs> you will be my weapon's first victims, and there is no pony who can save you from this fate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt, but aren't you forgetting about some pony? Humdrum, little guy. No superpowers whatsoever. <laughs> He's utterly useless! Please, every pony knows you just keep him around because you feel sorry for him. Where, where? Maybe in your world, but in our world, Spike... Uh, Humdrum always comes through when we need him. Always. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like awesome. I'm not like Humdrum. When my friends really need me, I do come through. And they need me now. <laughs> I see dementia must be a side effect of prolonged exposure to the hairspray ray of doom. <laughs> Tonight! We stand upon the brink of immortality, for we collectively, though mostly me, have finally defeated our most hated nemeses. We have hurled the brush of badness into the now fearful face of goodness and have struck a blow for freedom in the name of oppression, and nothing will stop us! <laughs> Control? Fluttershy, we need you! You have to power up! I'm sorry. It's just that nothing is making me mad. Oh, goodness! Are you okay? Are you kidding me? I mean, I know you're evil and everything, but you'd hurt a teensy little harmless firefly? Really? You're just a great big meanie! There! I said it! What makes you think you're so special? Like the rules of common courtesy don't apply to you? Why don't you pick a symbol in your own side? Once again, the day is 
saved by... glad to be back. We wouldn't have made it without you, Spike. And I hope you realize that just because we don't always need your help, it doesn't mean that we don't think you're helpful. And that you don't have to have superpowers to be a super friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I do have one question. Where exactly did you get that comic book? This one I got in Canterlot at the House of Enchanted Comics. Well, I didn't know it meant they were literally enchanted. <laughs> I thought it just meant, like, the comics they sold there had really enchanting storylines. Hey, wait up! I'm an important part of this team, remember? 